Hey guys, Apoc here with another Watcher of Realms video. Today, we're going to go over some arena things. You know, I got a special little lady that I've been using quite a bit and um you know, she doesn't she doesn't win all the uh all the levels, but it is a great way to help you advance uh you know, through the ranks and it works with both an older uh, more in-game uh level account as well as like a uh, you know, more early game account. Um, the same hero doesn't have to be beefed up very much, but it's, it's very interesting that I was able to use this. So I figured I'd bring it up, make a video and see if we could help you guys out too. All right, guys. Now, like I was saying, no, no one team is going to be able to beat everyone and, 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 or, you know, not be beat by anyone or anything like that. So. Um, there's always a thousand different uh, types of, of teams that you could do. Uh, although there is the meta, you know, the generally used group of, of characters that seem to be more played at the top. But of course, we're talking about, you know, maxed out, fully skilled with skill crystals, uh, maxed out artifacts and things like that. And let's be real, most people don't have that. I mean, hell, I don't have that, right? So, uh, and I've been playing for what, 230, 40 days, something like that so basically since launch so um I, I i saw this little little uh team and uh i, I threw it into my i guess you say uh my, my trials and uh it works great it works great so uh without further ado right let's go ahead and go over it i'll show you first off with my main more maxed out more you know heavy hitters and then i'll switch over to my um my forerunner account which is a lot newer a lot of guys who aren't ideal for um you know the arena but I make them work anyway, and uh, let, let's let's go after it, right? Let's see. I'll start with this one here. I'm at 328. This guy's at 302. Should be an easy, easy battle, right? He also has some very hardcore characters in here, so we're going to have to see what happens, right? And this is my little lady here. Boom! Serene, man. She is actually phenomenal. Phenomenal. And granted, now, I have to use her because I don't have, uh, what is it, uh, Laurel? Um, the, uh, the generation uh, lady? Is it is it Elwyn or Laurel? One or the other. I think I got Elwyn, but not Laurel. I think that's what it is. Um, but a lot of people use her for the cost generation, uh, and I don't have, her, so I can't use that for anything, right? No cost generation. And then you have the other option, which is the rare, which is uh, where is she? There she is. Um, a Narvi. She's good. She's good, you know, for rare. But if you have a Serene, she's a better version. Just a better version, right? And uh, the good thing is, is because she's an epic, she's going to have a little bit more attack and, and defense. And so you look right here, it says 43. It's like, oh, wow, she sucks, man. I don't know why you're using her. No, no, it's how I geared her. It's how I geared her. All right. At first, when I first started, I geared her nothing but HP. She was like a tank, right? And when the guys would come out, I, you know, obviously you want to lay her down first, right? She's your cost generator. So she starts generating that cost. So you can start putting in, putting down more heroes faster than the other guys. That's generally the, the, the strat behind this. The difference is that, that she generally doesn't last long. So you have to pile her up full of HP in order to make her tanky like a tank. So she can take those hits while you're generating all that cost in the meantime, right? She's not going to be a big damage dealer or anything like that. She's just going to be able to be put on the field to generate costs, but you want to make sure she doesn't die, right? That That's that's the general aspect of it. Then after that, you want to be able to put down as many awesome, heavy-hitting DPS heroes as you can. But one guy, I noticed it was it was on, my, on this main account here. One guy was just smoking me, and he had almost the exact same setup. It was driving me nuts. I couldn't figure it, couldn't figure it, couldn't figure it out. And then I started realizing that his rage regen was through the roof. Now, granted, I don't have uh, the gear he had, uh, so I wasn't able to get quite that high. But what I did notice is that if I could focus and try to get a good balance between rage regen and as much HP as possible, that was going to be able to give me a faster amount of, of cost generation and also a good amount of HP to, you know, be a tank. She's not going to be no regulus. Let's be real. As much HP as you put on her or Olog, she's not going to be that tough. But she can be pretty tough to get the job done. Let me show you. So anyway, I got her set up here. And let me go over this real quick. Um, I got a little bit of HP. I got her up at 40,000. <laughs> over half of that is the gear, right? 
and then if you come down to where is it where is it rage regen 100 percent rage regen this really helps speed things up for her again you could get higher uh i was facing a guy that had it higher and he was smoking me because of this but um yeah it's definitely definitely the case that that really helps make this hero super good right uh you put whatever artifact you have on her just uh i give her uh the highest level um artifact that i had just for the extra hp and defense right here uh this really does nothing for her um i don't have her awaken or i'm sorry i do have her awakened but not maxed out is what i was trying to say uh you know 20 percent chance of not freaking cooldown which is irrelevant attack irrelevant and crit rate provided by irrelevant irrelevant all of that's irrelevant let's see what the cost uh, that'd be nice if i can get one more cost off and then sharp sand applies attack speed reduction you know what I, mean? I mean that'd be nice to have but that's just like that's like a you know that's like a cherry on top you're not going to go somewhere because they give you a cherry on top you know you're just going to be happy when you do get that cherry type thing right but anyway let's go back and see look at this um got dps heroes geared to the gills geared to the gills you know um you just got you know lady uh geared to the gills as well uh basic stuff there nothing fancy uh i've got uh dolores here with uh let's look at hers uh, you know i've only got an extra six thousand attack on her not a whole hell of a lot i don't have the best gear in the world on her i've actually just recently started changing gear out to get this uh this set on her it's the first set i've had guys first full set of invig that i've had so i've tried to put it on her and i'm trying to make it uh, as high attack as possible but at the same time maintaining that full set so we can get that um right here three piece healing effect plus 25 blah 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 when deployed the hero and one random ally in range gain 10 percent attack so that's that's the key for using that that extra 10 percent attack that you're throwing on someone else right that's essentially what she's doing the whole time anyway she's just throwing extra attack juice on someone else so the invig is an extra 10 percent. you know that really helps but outside of that you know that that's that's kind of the basic setup right so what we'll do here i'll i'll, I'll do a regular start not even an auto just to show you guys and I'll show you a, a quick second. If you see Laurel, don't fight Laurel. All right. Put her, put her down first, very first. And I put her down, not this first tile, but the second tile right here. And I'll show you why in a second. Show you why in a second. Put this little guy out right behind her. Face it forward. And then you right there. And now, can I pause this? No, I guess not. I want to show you something. Pop that. He's gonna take care of the the bad guy, but look at look at uh, uh what's her name Serene, she is just beasting out with uh uh she's just beasting out with uh HP. I mean she's just not. I mean granted she's not doing much damage, but she's not dying. Look at these uh, these are big tanks that are coming out hitting hard, and and nothing's hurting this lady, although that only lasts so long. And I mean I'm, as I'm sure you guys know, each round these guys get get tougher and tougher. But look at this. I'm getting my 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 uh, my ultimates up. Cost iterations through the roof. Boom, boom. And because of that, I'm able to do so much damage, so much faster, so much earlier than a lot of these other people are. Now, granted, it's not an always every single time you win because I don't think there's a single thing a uh, single team out there that'll give you that. But this is an awesome, cheap uh, addition to an arena team. That I think a lot of people may already currently have and just don't use her, right? It's one of those things that kind of just go un unrealized until you um until you actually use her and you're just like, oh wow, cost generation is this good, this fast? I didn't realize. So you know, it definitely um definitely helps. Definitely helps. Uh oh, it's getting tight, getting tight. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Nani, boom. And I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, and boom. Perfect. Now, the reason I waited a few seconds is because I know there's a second second wave coming, and I was hoping to extend that um, ultimate a little further. See, she's out, still doing her ultimate. Bam, 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 bam. She's able to do some damage there. Pop that. Now we're just using ultimates left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Get him, get him. Oh, two, one got by. All right, guys. So what we'll do is go ahead and get into this. Let's see. Let's do this. Uh, this first one here. Anytime you see this little lady here. No, not Elowen. I'm sorry. Um, 
I don't have uh if you see Lorel in one of these teams, do not attack it. Lorel is a lot faster cost generator than um Serene or whatever. So yeah, you're not gonna want to play with that. Here, let's let's try this one here. This is 317. We're at 328. Should be a pretty good fight. Let's go ahead and get after it. All right. So we're gonna put Serena first. Boom. Come on, why do you do that? Cost generation. We're gonna put her at the second tile here. I'll show you why in a second. Go wait, wait. Boom, that cost generation came out and put put your next DPS right below. And now I'm gonna put my booster out. Boom, 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 boom. And got him, coach. Got him, coach. Done, son. Good deal. Next, next, I'm gonna put my big burst damage out there. Boom, and right there. Excellent excellent boom 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 with a quickness and see that's that's the whole point of this is to get out early get out as many people as you can as quickly as you can to cause as much damage as early as you can and that my friend just the speed of attack the fact that you're attacking up here at the bottom and you're not waiting for the guys to come way down here like this is going to give you a huge advantage almost every time that you're attacking up here versus people attacking down here you're going to have an advantage even if these guys have higher dps and higher overall um stuff Ooh, these guys are still running their ults making things happen and look at her she's still not taking any damage it looks like you know obviously she's taking some and then she's being healed by the lures but what i mean is is you know her her bar stays damn much full it's amazing it really is i mean because the character is not a tank you know and uh i've got a hundred percent rage regen on her you know what i mean so it's like there's still plenty of room that you could put a lot of hp on her if that was really the case that was really something you seem to be worried about right wouldn't put this on we're just gonna run through all these guys now boom 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 see they got serene she ain't gonna last forever boom but got another one and so now we just sit back and wait for them to be eight up. Done deal, son. Done deal. Game over, right? And that's the tactic, right? That's the technique. That's the strategy. That's a good one. Uh, but, you know, I I've said it a million times. Not any one team is going to be the best team in the world. There's going to be some meta teams out there that a lot of the higher level players are using. And uh, uh, grant granted, those are great teams. But, you know, not everyone has, uh, you know, maxed out Legos with A5. You know, not everyone has... Uh, you know, level 25 uh, artifacts and, and things like that. So um, I'm trying to come up with a strat that would be a more free to play or, or easier for a lot of guys who are not maxed accounts. And uh, Serene's is one of those easy characters that I think a lot of people have that go unused a lot. And, and this type of technique I even use in campaigns sometimes. You know, if I'm having a problem not able to get enough heroes on the field fast enough, Serene's a great option for that. Great option for that. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's see. Um, we will go against. All right, they got a Rackno over here. So let's check this one out. They got the whole uh, bonus going. We'll go go ahead and do auto. That way, maybe I can talk you through it at the same time we're, we're going through it as well. But um, if you didn't catch the first time, let me see if I can speak on the placement and the reasons. I place her right there, which is where my next DPS is going right there. That way, it covers both this line and this line, right? Just in case somebody gets past her. I put Dolores there because Dolores now can not only cover cover these tiles here, which is going to cover all my platform units, but she can also cover this here, which is exactly where Zilla 2 is going. Boom, boom, boom. So now she is literally boosting every single character that I put down. The entire uh, team is being boosted by Dolores because of where she was strategically put. Uh, and of course, you know, she's able to do the little bit of healing that she does, which is really what helps uh, Serene stay alive for the first few levels. And meantime, she's constantly boosting, constantly amping the attack power of all these guys around. And because the monster only got to walk from here to here, I mean, the damage is getting done almost immediately. Almost immediately. Look at that. He's got, what, two steps and he's taking damage. These guys, they got to take a stroll down a, down a boardwalk before they even get to the party. You know what I mean? We ain't got time for that over here. We're trying to get damage done, right? So it's a great strat. It's uh, a one that I use quite frequently. I mean, I'll, I'll switch between, um, you know, something else a little often. Uh, sometimes I'll throw, I'll take her out and I'll throw like a comet in there and, you know, have fun with that. 
but uh, she is a great, great piece to make a team around. Great piece to make a team around. Looking good. Look at this. There's another destruction right there. Boom, boom. Easy day. Easy day. Give me another nine. Give me another nine. One of these days, I'm going to get to uh, <laughs> get to Overlord. Oh, uh, all right. So there's that one. I'm going to go and switch over to my Forerunner, my more beginner. And uh, I'll show you the same type of strat over there, but with a lot less uh, uh, powerful hero. All right, guys. Now I'm on the Forerunner. Well, hold on. Yeah, yeah, four on. Damn, I'm already up to 53. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, I'm on my four runners over here. Check it out. So we'll go over to Arena. And we're going to take a look at this. Now, listen, I'm, I'm nowhere where I need to be in Arena over here. Uh, the problem I'm having uh, with my four runner is that um, I'm moving up too fast. And uh, I don't have enough DPS heroes to really take out the baddies. <laughs> but it is fun so look, look listen we're up to 197 that sounds good and all we'll check out this 116 real quick and we'll run through it and show you this is my setup man now this is my 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 big hero here laura she is phenomenal 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 now granted not the best hero in the game but phenomenal i didn't know nothing about her and i didn't think she was oh yeah marksman whoop do you know but um man she can pump out some damage her ultimate if i'm not mistaken does doubles yeah two strikes in a row and then um she's like invisible as long as you don't use her ultimate which means she, like she she almost never takes damage from like 99 percent of like the the damage that is dealt on the field you know what i mean that alone means that you can stick her out and you know bfe on the corner of the map and don't have to worry about a healer on her as long as you don't use her ultimate and she can just nail people from from who knows where you know what i mean it's it, it, it's awesome it is very awesome so check this out fuel upgrade fuel upgrade let's get it son i don't know why i just used it on her that was garbage you really don't need it on her um none of these uh pull down one second and that's yeah yeah it might be might be worth up, up in there yeah yeah it might be that might be nice it might be nice anyway um you know she's 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 a beastie and um granted like i said forerunner count no this is only like 40 days old or something 30 days old i don't have a whole ton of lot she, she's only up to eleven thousand attack and i don't have a crit rate or crit, uh, damage or anything like that on her i don't have the gear for all that yet guys. uh i got the attack speed up to 300 though uh that was nice uh and that was uh that's pretty much it she just pumped out good damage based on that and then you know um just a basic uh uh 10 out of 10 let's see who else this is this is my other big damage dealer i just recently got her uh so i don't have her maxed out or anything i, I, don't, I don't have this lady maxed out either like i was just showing you the skills we got four out of five and four out of five so still got to do there and this one look at this this is sort of ways away one out of five for my ultimate like oh dude that sucks but i got some pretty okay gear on her you know it's, it's not the best a lot of this is just just basic gear you know look at that flat attack look at that that's garbage flat attack but that's just that's just what the gear got wow that's a good piece everything else pretty garbage um and then you want to look at uh, uh you know i just got basic garlic hunt on there i did that because that's really the only uh gear i have that's uh that was a legendary mythic at the time i mean mythic not legendary. i have no uh awakens on her nothing like that just basic chicks here um at the skills that's maxed out artifact 10 out of 10 you know like I, it's just mostly gold the, the, these characters are not look at her she's at 37 only an 8,000 attack and this is some of the best gear i have on these people right now you know it's just the account is not very far it just is what it is the account is not very far so you put on the best gear you have with the best people you have you know most of these people are not ideal for this type of of um of arena right this is single target dps so we're gonna run it and uh, i'm gonna show you how she is a beast obviously she is too but i'm gonna show you how much she helps right let's get after it all right all right all right so same concept as the last one i'm gonna put serene out first 11 boom right there except i'm putting her right here oh, oh come on go forward there you go there you go there you go excellent she's doing her thing she's doing her thing i'm gonna wait 
wait and boom right there oh shit you know what quit battle i messed up my bad my bad my bad placement was wrong on here let me do that again i messed up my placement i forgot this one i'm doing a little bit different strategy because i have different heroes i don't have a zilla too uh you know with all that long extended range so i'm gonna make a corner with these two let me do that one more time you start and i'll show you what i mean what i'm trying to do is create a uh little corner so that i'm attacking a single individual as many times as possible i'll put her back one back one the idea is i'm gonna make this the choke zone this is going to be the choke zone right here right we wait we wait She's gonna do the cost generation and boom there it is now facing south right there boom boom now i've got both of them hitting and this is the only lady taking damage i could put you down right there and the reason i don't put them there is because i'm about to put dolores there boom now dolores will both heal serene and given a you know and and heal her but she's not gonna need it she's not really taking any damage but now she is going to be able to get healed and buffed and buff right so I'm, I'm, I'm literally buffing everybody here they're getting messed up look at this get messed up I'll come back up here dolores is look at this dolores gets everyone every single person here every single person is getting healed and will be getting the attack boost when needed but not even getting there look at that don't even need it don't even need it because if you wait and get your people down here it's, it's it's usually a bad sign it's usually a bad sign for you man Let's try that again. We'll do two. We'll do one more on this. Make it two on each. Kind of give you good examples of different opportunities with different groups of people. Um, three eleven. Look at that. That's crazy. That dude is crazy. Though. Jesus Christ. Be nice to have a nightmare team on that guy. All right. Let's see. See, we're at one ninety eight. We're at one ninety eight. See, it's getting hard. All these guys are like at three something. It's getting tough. Getting tough. But I'll tell you what. Let's try. Let's try this one. Let's try this one here. Go ahead and start it out. Now he's got the uh the king bonus going on and a bunch of amazing uh, uh legos, legos there. So we'll see. We'll put Serene first and boom. Boom. Run, run, run. And we'll put you out now. A little bit of heal. And then generation pops perfect boom damage time son damage time wait 9 10 11 and 12 the other big damage dealer i have i'll pop the boost now everybody's causing damage outrageous damage she's got an ult go ahead and use that and just dominates everybody now look at that these guys not even halfway not even halfway bro like what you doing man Put her actually not there not there i want to put her actually over here that just further intensifies this little area this little target here this one little little square now is like the danger zone. everybody and their mom's attacking the creature that steps in this zone now oh let's check it out we got another guy coming up thinks it's gonna be something go and pop that pop that and pop that check it out the dude is losing so much life so fast stupid fast this guy even started taking damage and i'm already done and he's got better heroes than i got he has a ton better heroes than i have and i demolish that guy demolish that guy look at that, almost 300 dude like dude come on come on come on bro. see if we can take a look at that damage boom yeah she's killing it man she is a freaking beast in this bit she definitely definitely helps like on my main i don't have her so i'm using um silas in, in her place which i just got silas on my main and that's freaking awesome but uh yeah so i'm using her there but look at this she's not she's not doing any real damage that's not why she's there you know she's just your tank she's pumping out a little bit of damage but you're probably putting her out last anyway so she's not going to get the most she is a big damage dealer but she is um you know uh, uh, just not as much of a damage dealer i guess as as uh as, as this little lady is here beast see look at this 
they were still able to pump out more damage than me but i was able to do it faster so i won faster you know what i mean like they got a lot more people pumping out damn look at this 640 and a three i got an eight and a three but he's also got the one i've got the one well i guess i guess i pumped out a little bit more damage than him because of the you know i was able to kill the guy faster but uh man it's a it's a good little team it's a good little team it's a good little strat this little lady is insane now what i'll go ahead and do too last little bit this is obviously arena video uh, but what i'll go ahead and do is i'll go to a campaign and i'll show you the same type of strategy used with her kind of help get you through some some tough areas let's see let's give this a shot i don't know if i can get this one <laughs> but we're gonna see I, I already got her in there check it out check it out all right let's give it a shot let's see how this cost generation is going to help me pump out more people all at one time lady is doing a little roundy roundhouse there i'll put three here put this lady there there we go already getting some action already getting some action we'll put uh, uh no all right that's good that's good that's good here we will go ahead and do a similar right perfect 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 now we're talking all right so we'll just get this lady i mean that guy there we are there we are things are looking good now they're going to come through here all right now do your business go ahead and put this guy here i mean that, i'm sorry that lady there <laughs> that's said guy uh that's so now that's looking good right I'm gonna put my big blocker over here. Pop that. And then I'll actually do one more right there. All right, now that's gonna take care of all the damage I need for them. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Doing good guys, doing good, doing good everyone seems to be doing just fine and i was able to get so many guys out so fast all because of that cost generation and now that i have plenty of cost build up i could always pull her out i already have my tank there and i can put another damage dealer down anywhere i need to that i feel like may pump out a little more a little more damage for me uh oh oh no he didn't last long over there <laughs> but you see what i'm saying right i'm making the example There we are. There we are. Making them drown. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 45 out of 54. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Almost got them all. Reed is just murdering people over here with that flame. But not today, son. Not today, Satan. <laughs> Uh, boom and there's another win guys there's another win in the books yeah yeah yeah. i wasn't that wasn't ideal here that's another win in the books guys and that i think is how you use the best the best uh setup for this little lady the the best way to use her the best that's why i got a little heart on her right here if you guys don't know how to do this yet it's right here there's a little heart right here you just click it boom and they, and they put them up top for you uh, but yeah, this lady, man, I, I've, 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 I have a newfound respect for this girl. She is phenomenal. She works in both, uh, you know, arena and uh, campaign. So it's something you guys really consider uh, building her, um, trying to get some good stats on her. You know, the the better the gear, the better the hero. But you know, even on this one, I've I have zero rage regen, and I have just twenty eight thousand HP. So I just got to build like a straight tank on this one. I don't have any rage regen gear, otherwise I would have put it on her. But even with zero rage regen, she's able to get some things done. You know, it's half ass gear. You know what I mean? So um, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys got another strategy with her, uh, let me know. I'd be interested to see uh, what other stuff you guys got going on. Until next time, see you later, guys. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Until next time, APOC out.